like a Chinese Jiangwei class cruiser with a North Korean destroyer escort. <laughs> Events in the Yellow Sea took a turn for the worse today when North Korean and Chinese forces blockaded and boarded a Japanese cargo ship. The North Korean government released no official statement, and their ambassador remained out of contact. While at the UN, Chinese Ambassador Long Dan urged the US and her longtime Japanese allies to remain calm, calling the blockades a legitimate response to what the rest of Asia views as a possible remilitarization of Japan. This blockade is an act of war. The NSC is working on a formal response, and they've ordered the USS Walsh to close at flank speed. The Walsh is the most advanced spy ship in history. My best man will be on board. What do you know? Chinese and North Korean ships working together again. It's what we expected. That's a 056 prototype, Chinese. Exactly. How are your sea legs? I haven't lost them. Good. Because the 056 prototype isn't the only new fish in the pond. Admiral Toshiro Otomo, head of Japan's newly formed Information Self-Defense Force, had this to say. This is another distressing attempt by China and North Korea to further depress our faltering economy. The ISDF and Japan appeal to our allies for the military support promised us under the post-war constitution of 1946. The fact remains that in the eyes of many in Asia, the ISDF itself is a violation of the post-war constitution prohibiting Japan from maintaining a military force capable of striking beyond its borders. In Asia, the memories of Imperial Japan are still fresh. separatist group called the People's Voice. Their suspected leader, Hugo Lacerda, is a hardcore revolutionary preaching information warfare as the only realistic means to achieve revolution in modern society. We need you to get in there and recover or destroy any information Morgenholt may have been forced to divulge, and if possible, rescue him. As for Lacerda, he's just been bumped onto our target of opportunity list. So if you have a shot, take it. Hostage rescue isn't normally our bag, but Morgan Holt was part of Project Watson, the UN committee that studied Philip Mass's handiwork after Georgia. Some people are worried that this kidnapping is just a cover-up, and that Morgan Holt is being interrogated for classified information about the Mass colonels. Fact is that some of the tricks Mass came up with could be used to do a lot of damage. We need to contain that information at all costs. The target area is a lighthouse attached to an abandoned Spanish colonial-era fortification and some nearby structures. We don't have an exact location on Morgenholt, so you'll have to find him yourself. 
Insertion will be at night by Zodiac onto the beach beneath the fort. Thermal imaging shows that there are some old natural and semi-natural caves under the fort, so you may be able to use those for infiltration. All right, Fisher. The helicopter will drop you a few kilometers offshore in the Zodiac. You'll have one of my Zodiacs and logistical support in and out of the target area. Extraction will be by helicopter from the top of the lighthouse. Displace International holds the contract with Wright Pritchard Technologies to protect their VIPs in potentially hostile situations. We did a thorough threat evaluation for their project in Peru, and we accepted the VIP detail on Morganholm. The guys who came after him knew what they were doing. This was not a tourist grab. I lost three good men in the snatch, and I'm currently preparing a rescue plan for approval from Morgan Holt's family and Wright Pritchard. This is going to cost this place a lot of money. down there, Fisher. Everything all right? It's coming from up ahead, but Lambert. And I think Gorilla. I think Flash the cop. What do you mean? I've had enough AKs fired at me in my time to tell you that wasn't one. All right. See if there's anything unusual going on with their equipment. Keep us posted. And a game fight. Oh. Look, there's some kind of old bridge there. You know, I heard that smugglers used to use these old caves. Smugglers? He probably had all sorts of secret passages and tunnels down here. Whoa, careful! It's safe, don't worry. Never tell you that spelunking is dangerous. Oh no! You are going to kill me, right? Only if you say the word monkey. Now tell me something I want to know. Uh, ammunition and medical supplies. Check around inside the keep. They have tons of stuff in there. Some of you guys are real helpful. Why do you have to work for the bad guys? You're the American oppressor. You're the bad guy. Are you gonna say monkey? What? This conversation is over. Please don't kill me. Please. Please don't kill me. Please don't. That's all I know. I swear. I must be hearing him. Nice piece. Where'd you get it? Oh, God! 
I don't know. I really don't know. That's bad news for you, then. Ah, uh, I tell you if I knew. I swear, please don't kill me. Fine. If you don't know where the guns came from, then tell me something else that's useful. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Morgenholt. Morgenholt. You must be here for him. He's in the room just ahead. I think they're torturing him. Torturing him? Thanks for the info. Mm, no problem. I, I don't have any more information. I swear. I don't deserve to die. I, I don't have any more information. I swear. <laughs> Don't you think he's had enough? He's had enough when he can't talk. Talking? Madre de Dios, he hasn't been able to speak for an hour. He could be faking it.
It doesn't sound too good down there, Fisher. The sound isn't the problem. You should smell it. You're sure he's dead? Dead as an Elvis. All right. Leave the body. We still need to recover any traces of the interrogation. Grim will call you back. I already don't like you. Don't make it worse for yourself. Who... Who are you? Shut up. Why did you torture Morgan Halton? Lacerda told us to. Why? What does he want to know? Math problems. Programmer stuff. I don't get it. You're just the stupid one who likes to hurt people, huh? Uh, exactly. Can you think of a reason why the world wouldn't be a better place without you? Uh, please. I... I didn't think so. Please. Don't kill me. Please. Lacerda made us. Fisher, I said leave the body. We don't have the means to extract him. Just because he's dead doesn't mean I need to leave him here hanging like a piece of meat. Don't get too connected, Fisher. I need you to stay rational. You can spare 30 seconds for some simple dignity. data he might have uploaded to their servers. Exactly. From the looks of it, these gorillas have a pretty temporary setup. Seems unlikely they have any kind of alarm system on location. Good. Hi there. You look important. I am loyal. You will get no information from me. Really? Hmm, it looks like you forgot to shave this morning. Let me help you out a bit. Huh? You can't! Hey, what are you doing? Okay, okay. What do you want to know? I'm looking for Lacerda. He's been behaving very badly, baby. Well, you're wasting your time, American. He left in a boat an hour ago. He could be anywhere by now. I guess I'll just have to follow him then. Don't worry. He won't slip away. I hope the water is warm. Have a nice swim. I think that confirms it, Fisher. Yeah, seems like Lacerd is long gone. <laughs> we'll see if we can track him through Echelon. Don't worry about him for now. We'll keep you posted. That's four of the five crates, Sam. Keep your eyes peeled for the last one. Too bad it's overhead. Why? They say that we are at the right latitude to see the debris re-entering the atmosphere. Debris? What are you talking about? Madre de Dios. You didn't hear? The International Space Station. There's been an accident. They've lost radio contact, and they've confirmed that there's major damage. 
They expect a debris shower sometime this evening. In pride, in reasoning pride, our error lies. All quit their sphere and rush into the skies. Him, the almighty power, hurled headlong and flaming from the ethereal sky, who does defy the omnipotent to arm. Ay, ay, ay. And I thought I was a dilettante. Education is the difference between a revolutionary and a terrorist. Second-rate communist revolutionary want with a computer algorithm. I don't know. I don't even think La Cerda knows. I think someone might have hired us. What makes you think that? I don't know. La Cerda. He's been making lots of deals. Something's going on. I don't know what. But you don't know who he's been talking to. No. You're not much good to me anymore. I told you everything. Please, don't kill me! Have mercy, please! Have mercy! I don't... <laughs> Thunderstorms make good work, Fisher. We can well, analyze the intelligence you gathered from those crates. Okay, okay, you make a lot of people's okay, jobs okay, a whole okay. lot safer. Well, now How come no one ever does things to make my job? It won't be a higher level. Evening start, Maria Narcisa. Come in. Evening start, Maria Narcisa. Come in. Maria Narcisa, sir. Go Cargo received, Maria Narcisa. It all checks out. Roger that. Affirmative, Maria. Roger that. Maria Narcisa out. Maria 
radar system. You're not trying to set me up on another blind date, I hope. The Maria Narcissa is a boat. So was the last girl you sent me up with. Fisher. Sorry. The Maria Narcissa is a cargo ship owned and operated by Celestinia Inc., a Portuguese shipping company. Registered in the Philippines, cross Pacific freight contracts. Lots of details missing. Sounds suspicious. Sounds like I'm setting you up for another date after all. Can't wait to meet her. Fisher, your primary objectives are complete. What's on the Extract you whenever you're ready. You'll need to signal for a helicopter pickup from the top of the lighthouse. Make sure the light is out first. Will do. Not who were you talking Looks to? Looks like him being What? Who are you? I'm the guy who's going to break your knees if you don't tell me who you were talking to. Oh, God. You. It was La Cerda. Hugo La Cerda. Where is he? It's aboard the ship. The Maria Narcisa. Why? Weapons. He's delivering the new weapons to the other cells. If I find out you're lying, I will come back for you. Oh, God, please. I don't know anything else. I swear, La Cerda isn't here. <laughs> fall behind is the day I don't come home. The body of kidnapped American computer engineer Bruce Morgenholt was discovered in a village in Peru this morning. Implicated in the kidnapping and failed ransom attempt is Hugo Lacerda, alleged leader of the People's Voice, a newly formed guerrilla organization. Here we see the USS Clarence E. Walsh en route to the Yellow Sea for her first assignment amid rising tensions in the region. Dubbed the flagship of a 21st century fleet by Defense Secretary Mason, who reaffirmed America's commitment to our Japanese allies. It is our hope that the presence of the Walsh, now the world's premier electronic and information warfare platform, will help defuse the tensions in the region. Information you recovered in Peru makes it look like Hugo Lacerda was contracted by a third party to kidnap and interrogate Morgenholt. His payment was in weapons. He appears to be using those arms to equip his own men and pay off debts to other guerrilla groups. Or maybe Lacerda is a nickel ante loser, but maybe he's learned some things from Morgan Holt that we don't want anyone to know. The Maria Narcissa is out to sea, so there's no escape. Board her, search her, find out who Lacerda's been dealing with, and then make sure he doesn't have an opportunity to spread what he knows. Fifth Freedom. What Morgan Holt knew about the mass kernels, recursive computation, and weaponized algorithms is akin to what Oppenheimer knew about atoms or what Turing knew about digital computers. 
Project Watson, the United Nations investigation into the mass kernels, will be remembered for centuries alongside the Manhattan Project as fundamental research that changed the nature of warfare forever. Imagine if Che Guevara had kidnapped and interrogated Oppenheimer in 1959, and you have a pretty accurate parallel of the situation we're in right now. We're going to send the helicopter out about 40 clicks ahead of the Maria Narcissa and leave you in the water on her course. You'll board covertly onto the bow. Search the ship and the holds. Find out what you can about the arms shipments and who Lacerda is dealing with. Satellite imaging shows the Maria Narcissa racks a small launch on the stern. That will be your primary extraction. If things go badly, we might be able to arrange to pluck you out of the sea. We'll keep the Walsh inside a helicopter range of the target vessel at all times. If something goes wrong, we should be able to assist in extraction. If you play it safe, we'll recover you when the ship's launched from open water once you're out of visual range of the ship. Fisher, we just pulled up Celestinia's last dry dock report for the Maria Narcissa. They have a newly installed central alarm system. Don't tell me. Three alarms and the mission is over? Of course not. This is no video game, Fisher. But you don't want the whole place alerted to your presence. Keep it under control. It looks like Lacerda is spreading around his newfound wealth, paying off debts with some of the arms that were delivered to him. You want me to scan any more weapons crates? Better idea. Plant tracking devices on them, and we can see who they end up getting delivered to. Okay. Good job, Sam. That's the first crate. Keep your eyes peeled for any more. All right. Fisher, we just intercepted a radio call from the Maria Narcissa. She's reporting a hull leak and asking for an escort. The ship is sinking. No, but apparently several compartments are flooded. You'll need to activate the bilge in the forward machine room to access all the cargo holes. Noisy down here. Oh, my! Makes it easy to sneak up on people. What is this hold? The auxiliary pump is here. There are some flooded compartments. The pump should be able to drain them. Thanks for the information. I'm new at this whole revolutionary thing. I'm new. I'm new. I don't want to die. There should be a large pump in here that you can use to drain the forward cargo hold. I'll find it. You gonna start that pump there or what?
don't know how this stupid thing works. Captain Diego says hurry up or we'll sink. Well, if I do it wrong, we might sink faster. Then don't do it wrong. Easy for you to say. That'll drain the flooded compartments. Now you can search for the bill of lading and that bill of certain shipments. All right. I'm betting that Lacerda's shipping container is somewhere in this compartment. The bill of lading should be mounted on the side. I'll have a look around. Good work, Sam. It looks like whoever delivered these arms to Lacerda was operating through a proxy. Who? Mercantile Costa Fuerta Seguridad de Panama. Offshore bankers? Yeah, the cigar chomping kind. Great. I love bureaucrats. You still need to recover the transit ledger so we can figure out who else Lacerda is dealing with. Try the ship's office. They should have that information. Ay, 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 ay. Have you had a look around this boat? <laughs> yeah. Tell me you found the library. Somewhere on the top deck, inside, and there's a power plant on the turn. Think there is enough for everyone? Yeah, I wouldn't trust them. Sensors in your suit are detecting a lot of fumes down there. Yeah, I can smell it. Some kind of gas thing. Could be enough to be a serious explosive hazard. We can't have any firing in the engine room. Wonderful. And don't expect the enemy to be smart enough to realize that. They might still open fire on you if they see you. I get the message. I'll be discreet.
Quiet and dark. Great place to hide a body. Oh no, please! I'll tell you anything you want to know. Tell me what Lacerda is up to. He's delivering arms to people that he owes favors to. Trying to consolidate support. For what? He believes in the revolution. He's crazy. I have no love for Lacerda. Kill him if you want. I'll tell no one. <laughs> ship's office. This deck, starboard side. I'll find the transit ledgers there. That's where they should be keeping them. Hey, did La Cerda pass through here? Yeah, he was here a few minutes ago, complaining about the ledgers. Bastard. I hope someone cuts his trouble. La Cerda is not a man to try to win. I'm not going to try to with him. I'm hoping someone else will do it. That someone would experience painful death at La Cerda's hands. Mm-hmm. Where is La Cerda now? I don't know, and I don't want to know. They say Lacerda's container is full of sugarcane and coconuts from a man named Nikaryakov in Malaysia. Nikaryakov. I remember that name. Nikaryakov is a code name that Philippine drug dealers use to indicate arms shipments. So instead of nuts from Malaysia, Lacerda got guns from an imaginary Russian? Exactly. Now why don't you go find out where Lacerda is hiding? The captain probably knows where he is. Good idea. Why don't you head to the bridge and ask? That's about half of them. See if you can find the rest.
hear you have a special passenger tonight. What that? Oh, who? I'm the guy who's here to cash the checks lacerta has been writing. Where is he? That son of a... He was provoking my men, so I gave him my own cabin to shove him up. That's very kind of you. Be careful. He brought some personal bodyguards. They look dangerous. I'm not afraid of Lacerda's thugs. No, they're not Peruvian. They're Europeans, I think. Bros. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. The pleasure is all mine. Leave me his corpse so I can feed it to the rats. I'm glad you're here, but my men will shoot you on sight. So Lacerda is holed up in the captain's quarters. Where's that? Third deck, fourth side. The two interior stairwells are the only access to that deck. Good job, Sam. Two more crates to go. I tell you, never, never in my life have I been so insulted. I don't see why you're so upset. He got you past the inspection. You think it's easy to get through the canal zone with all the crackdowns these days? I don't care if it's hard. You think my job is easy? No, but this insult forcing me to bribe an inspector out of my own pocket. No, this big shot. This Vice President, Senor Segundo Ruiz de Medeiros, ha! I'll show him! Fine. Mark my words, I'll make him pay. I'll make him pay double, for my name is not Hugo Lacerda. Great. I need another drink. Let me see. Now where would that fat pig stash is from? Ugh, bastard. I want rum. Hey, why don't you pour us a glass too? Shh, don't make a scene. Uh, madre de Dios. Not exactly, but if it makes you feel better to pray. Please don't kill me. Lacerda, come on, bring us a drink. Calm him down. Uh, uh, see, si. I'm looking for some rum. What, you need a hand? No, no, I, I'll find it. Good job. Please let me go. I won't tell them I saw you. You don't understand what's happening here, do you? Morgan Holt, your goons tortured him to death, and I'm holding you responsible. Oh, no, it's not my fault. The only thing worse than a coward is a liar. You gave the order, and now you're gonna die for it. Please! First, tell me who contracted you to kidnap him. I... I don't know. I swear! I was contacted indirectly. I was warned not to try and find out. Come on, Lacerda, hurry up! Uh, un momento! You'd better let me go, or they'll come looking. You wish. I'm sorry, it's not my fault! I'm a coward, please! I'm sorry, it's not my fault! Good job, Fisher. I'll inform the Joint Chiefs that Lacerda is no longer a threat. Your primary objectives are completed. We can extract you whenever you're ready.
You know what I don't understand? Here we are, loaded up with Colombian. Best coffee in the world. And the coffee tastes like bad guano. Exactly! What's up with that? Because Captain Diego buys the cheapest coffee he can find. Why? Because cheap coffee sweats more. Makes it harder for the dogs to smell what's hidden inside the coffee. Ah, that makes sense. Still, wouldn't mind a good cup of coffee. Tell me about it. Hey, Toma! Have you seen La Cerda? No, but I heard him yelling at someone a few minutes ago. That's why I came here. Uh, what was he yelling about this time? Complaining about his quarters or something. Bastard. Thinks now that he's got a little cash, he's king of the world. He'll get his one of these days. You'll see. Way to go, Fisher. One more crate to go. What does it mean to bootstrap? Uh, it means to accomplish something by using an entirely internal process. Why? The Americans say they will have to bootstrap a shuttle launch if they want to save the astronauts on the ISS. It's that bad? It's worse. They say that since the wreckage of the first shuttle is still attached to the docking module, the crew will need to spacewalk to the rescue shuttle. That doesn't sound good. Well, it will be two weeks before they can even launch the shuttle, so it might not even matter. And I thought this ship was dangerous. This ship isn't moving at 30,000 kilometers an hour.
Uh, I love the smell of the ocean air. All I smell is burning oil and vomit. Uh, come on. Enjoy it while you can. That was the last of the weapons crates, Sam. Now we'll be able to track them wherever they go and see just how connected Lacerda is. Go. And I never care of anybody getting eaten by an alligator on a ship. With still no word from the North Korean government, China's Long Dan again urged all sides to come to the bar. We have now a late response by Admiral Toshiro Otomo of the Japanese ISDF. Despite the ambassador's efforts, nothing has changed. The Japanese people must continue to endure harassment and humiliation. We eagerly anticipate the arrival of the Get back to Panama. Hey, to eat and run, sir. We have a few loose ends to tie off before we can rejoin. Well, you can make it back for the 4th of July. I'll show you one heck of a good time, boy. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Fisher, the arms that Lacerda had were purchased by someone using a Panamanian offshore bank as proxy. I want to take a peek inside their records. Fortunately, it's not as simple as that. This op can't look like a U.S. intelligence gig, so to cover it up, you'll need to crack the bank's vault and lift some bearer bonds. Property of the French government. I hit the bank's servers last night, but I didn't find much. All their workstations run drivers for plug-and-play hard drives. I'm guessing they secure them physically every night. Crazy world we live in where electronic intrusion is more of a threat than physical intrusion. Anyway, they probably store the drives in the main vault, meaning they're not going to be easy to get a hold of. First, the good news. You've been in this bank before. You were part of a CIA raiding team that went in in 89 looking for some of Noriega's drug money. Most of the intelligence we have on the bank actually comes from your team. The bad news is that we have a lot of physical security. Lasers, motion sensors, locked doors, cameras, the whole lot. And none of it was there in 89. We've also contacted a, a specialist to help crack the vault. You better talk to him. Look, I don't know who you are or why I'm helping you, other than it's better than staring at the ceiling of Marcel. I hear you have to face from Mason Wells 88. Well, it ain't a one-man job, but they tell me you can do the work of five men. Fine, I says. I had your mate Willie make a little deposit for you. You'll be needing some things from a safety deposit box in the little vault that we can use to crack the main one. We'll continue on our course for the Yellow Sea and send you back by helicopter to Panama City. I have no authorization to act inside Panamanian borders, so you'll be operating covertly out of the embassy. You and your partner will be on your own in Panama. Hey, Emilio, did you see these new motion sensing lights? No. What do they do? When they detect movement, the light turns on. That's... that's amazing. Like magic. I think I'm going to get one of those from my garage. Imagine that. You pull up in your car at night, and the driveway lights up automatically. Ha! <laughs> You're crazy. This is high-tech stuff, Emilio. It probably costs thousands of dollars. Hmm. See, you're probably right. I could never afford it. Judging from your report, sounds like it was quite a vacation. It was, actually. I spent most of the rest of that year sleeping in a ditch on the road between Baghdad and Kuwait. Oh, well. If it's any consolation, I had a bad year that year, too. What? 
You weren't working for the government during the Gulf War? No. I was in 10th grade. Oh, right. Yuck. of a work order here that the bank filed with their insurance company. It says the dome windows over the lobby are magnetically locked. See if you can find a breaker or junction box up here and power down the locks. Right. Shut down the magnetic locks on the windows. Hey, wait a minute. Power spike. The lobby. It looks like a laser grid just came online. Lasers? Lasers are so... 90s? I was gonna say 70s. Can you please stop making me feel old? Got bad news for you, Sam. You are old. Fisher, here's our advisor. He'll walk you through the steps that'll get you into that vault. Be patient with him. Oh, he's one of those. Right. Hello? Is this thing on, then? It's on. I'm here. Have you been briefed? Whatever. This, this is the Mason Wells 88. Each one is unique. You want to get a butcher's up this girl's skirt. First thing you need to do is authorize an opening. So, how do I do that? The bank president and the treasurer will each have an authorization lock in their office. There'll be another one in the security office. You'll need to disable all three. Okay. I look inside, and I see him. See him. From where? Well, that's the thing. I searched the room, but I can't find anything. But I definitely hear singing. And listen, I'm over on this side, and I hear Rodrigo singing the same song. So, it was Rodrigo in the archives room? No, there was no one there. But you know the vent in the archive room? I think that vent connects to this side, to the men's bathroom. I think that's how I heard Rodrigo. You mean... Rodrigo sings while he's going to the bathroom? Ooh. That's a relief. Our installer seems to be compatible with their local OS. That's it? Just plug and play? That's the idea. No fuss. Get all eight of those forged mails uploaded. Make the robbery look like an inside job. Exactly. Oh, these uniforms are uncomfortable. Oh, that's one of the new American-made ones. So? That's good. They are not made by second-rate laborers loud-balling each other for a Panamanian army service contract. Oh, make no mistake. The quality of the uniforms is exemplary. They'll never wear out. So? Well, they're about five degrees hotter, they weigh eight ounces more, they don't breathe at all, and they're itchy. Well, it doesn't sound like a very good business move to me. Why would the Americans do that? From a business perspective, it's a terrible move. But let me ask you something. What? Hypothetically speaking, if you had to invade Panama, would you rather fight an army in disposable second-rate uniforms? or an army who was overburdened, overheated, itchy, and couldn't move well. Oh, I didn't think of it that way. Neither did our generals when they pocketed a juicy U.S. contract for everlasting uniforms. There are many ways to wage war, my friend.
Fix that, Paco. This is broken. The arm is dirty. All the sleep. He will not have to do it. He will care if you should do your work. Oh, don't worry. If you break it, Paco will fix it. Paco has nothing better to do than fix it. Stupid little thing that breaks. What was that code again? An 8645. Damn wrong. What else can Paco fix for you? to thank you for fixing the keypad on that door. Yeah, yeah, that's Paco. Always doing the dirty work. You want to tell me the door code now? Sure, why not? It's 8645. You want me to write it down? No, that's okay. Paco doesn't give his numbers out to just anyone. 8645, I told you already. Treasury's authorization. Two more to go. Oh no, Zerkezi. That's exactly what I didn't want to see. Zerkezi does some kind of dried meat. He's probably the best computational theorist in the world. He worked with Morgan Holt on Project Watson. Where it is, he's gone off his nut. Sounds like bad guy material to me. In sports, pitcher Akira Watanabe arrived in New York yesterday for his first practice with his new team. After a full day of evaluations, head pitching coach Matthew Furland stated that Watanabe was, quote, easily the best baseball pitcher ever.
Chilly. Ah, no define again. Stupid piece of junk. How come the air conditioning in the president's office never fails? But our fan breaks every night. Uh, let's see. He's the president, and we are just security guards. Might as well have Noriega back. Always the poor who suffer for the rich. Tell me about it. Well, anyway. We better fix it. No way. I ain't getting my hands there. Call that loser Paco up here and make him do it. Hey, good idea. That's half of the forged mail, Sam. Four more to go. Thanks. I've always found it hard to count past three. No need to be smarmy, Sam. camera, they won't be able to ID you. That's two down. Now just authorize from the president's office. Right, that's authorization done. The outer cage to the vault should be opening as we speak. Great. Just inside the cage, there's a small vault full of safety boxes. You may dropped off some kit for you in one of them. All right, I'll let you know when I'm there. Chinese ambassador to the United States, Long Dan, was recalled to China today for an emergency meeting with government officials regarding ongoing problems between Korea and Japan. Long Dan is expected to renew his efforts to bring Korean, U.S., and Japanese delegates to the bargaining table. Looks like more lasers ahead, Sam. This whole place is singing with photons. 
There's a guard who seems to be walking around here, no problem. Maybe he has some kind of beacon. Get close and you can stay in his electronic shadow. They don't want people to hack the bank machines. Hack a bank machine? Whoever heard of that? It's not a realism that's the problem. It's just that it introduces a whole resource economy that we don't want to deal with. Oh, oh, I see your point. More forged mail and work coming. Doing my best.
Sam, it's Will. The turtle said one of these boxes had some equipment in it. Chest level, right hand side, number 1024. Careful with that gear. What is all this stuff? The charges are for the vault, and the other thing in me bulb is a telemetric lockpick. A telemetric lockpick? Head down to the main vault. We'll walk you through it there. All right. Next, you need to pop both of these locks at the same time. That's what the telemetric pick is for. Exactly. It reads your movements in one lock and mimics them in the other lock, real time. You guys use some cool toys. Right. Now, once you get the feel for each pin, you have to wait a second for the telemetric pick to sync up. Once it beats, Bob's your uncle, you can pick the pin and move to the next one. Don't try and pick a pin before you're in sync, or you'll have to restart. Right. over the main pins. Once they're all in place, well, I'm sure you can figure it out. And open sesame. Lambert, we're in. Great work. Sam, get in there and find those hard drives. several Morsk. I remember. And it's confirmed. So this is someone with access to some seriously classified information. Sir Casey? That's a frightening possibility. Great work, Fisher. Now any investigation into the robbery will only point back at the investigators. So the Panamanian government will end up sending some innocent banker to prison? Innocent, if you don't count providing arms to revolutionaries. Oh, right, I forgot. Bankers. Evil. Good job, Fisher. Now the whole mission will look like a robbery. They'll never know why we were here. Lambert, now that I'm holding 50 million bucks, I think we need to talk about that raise again. Mm. 25 cents an hour and not a penny more. Deal. All right, Fisher. We'll extract you as planned from the same location you were inserted. Over the wall from the front courtyard? That's right. Redding will be waiting for you nearby. On my way. So Zerkezi and Morgenholt are the only two people who ever saw those algorithms. And Morgenholt is dead. And Zerkezi is connected to a mystery guest we know nothing about. Dvorak. Morgenholt and Zerkezi are geeks, not terrorists. Maybe this Dvorak is some kind of puppeteer. 
No hitter, bottom of the eighth. 2 0, New York in the eighth. Akira Watanabe is on the mound. It's pure concentration, pure focus. This is no coincidence. You're on your way to the Big Apple. Bruce Morgan Holt and Abrahim Zakezi were partnered together on Project Watson, the UN committee that cracked the mass kernels. They're the ones who discovered 512 encryption, the same encryption used in the messages you recovered at MCAS Bank. If this so-called Dvorak person has somehow gotten his hands on mass-based IW algos, we're in a world of hurt. I've been trying to penetrate Zerkezi's private network since we connected him to this mess. I've seen some tough network security before, and I expected Zerkezi to have top-of-the-line tech, but this is crazy. Zerkezi's server isn't just impenetrable or invisible. It's like, it's like looking for a shadow in a pitch-black room. It's driving me crazy. Things are turning sour in New York. It's been 24 hours since the blackout, and no one has a clue when it might end. We've got sporadic reports of unrest all over Manhattan, but it hasn't started to spill over yet. Word coming down from above is that the National Guard will be deployed within the hour. We'll need to insert you into an alley behind a building adjacent to the target building. Watch out for civilians. Fisher, the National Guard was deployed into Manhattan about an hour ago. I feel safer already. Watch your fire, Sam. Those boys aren't expecting to see you and they'll attack on sight. Do not, I repeat, do not kill any of them. I'll be careful. Good. Have enough light down here? I think so. These barricade lights are battery operated, so they should be okay. I have flares too if I need them. All right. Then we'll concentrate on getting power to the CP before we break out to the perimeter. Sounds good. Guard are trying to restore the power to the building's elevator. It's probably your best way to the top. I'll see if I can hitch a ride. It'll be a long climb if you don't. What's the status on that elevator? I'll have it running in a sec. 
We'll speed it up. We need to get some more equipment up to the roof. I'm going as fast as I can. I'm not going to hurt you. Who, who are you? Wait a minute. Is this a training exercise? Support. This guy knows it's an exercise. Who let the cat out of the bag? Huh. I knew it. Roger that. Yeah. Okay. Give me a hand, pal. Just play along. Name, rank, and number. Corporal Stan Donlin. 24-28-996. And you're not gonna tell me anything else? No, sir. Good boy. All right. Want me to move on to the next one? Yeah. Roger. Huh. Okay. I'll ask. Man wants to know how many are on the roof. Two on the roof, sir. Two more inbound in a chopper. Thanks. Dismissed. Wait a minute. This isn't an exercise. Who are you? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, am I dismissed or not, sir? <laughs>
business has construction permits on file for the floors below the penthouse and in the neighboring structure. Any plans or blueprints on file? I'll have Grimm look into it, but with this blackout. I understand. I'll see if I can dig up some plans down here. Good idea. Fisher. That's a hired gun if I've ever seen one. He's no night watchman either. He's a merc. He's got the same kid as the guys who were protecting the sir. This whole situation is getting uglier by the second. See if you can find out who these characters were. Will do. What are you doing down here? Ah, who the hell? Off to a bad start. Talk or die. Ah, okay. We're on VIP protection. This floor. We need to secure it because we can't lock it off from the penthouse. Does the architect or engineer keep an office or a desk down here? Yeah, of course. West side of the building. Since you're doing so well, why don't you tell me the name of the PMC? I, I work for Displace. Displace International. If you're gonna kill me, do it quick. You're messing with the wrong company, pal. This place. That's Doug Shetland's company. I know. Fisher, sure? <laughs> Shetland turns out to be crooked. If Shetland is crooked, I'll take him Is down myself. Down I have a feeling there's more to it than that. Could be. See if you can find out who's in charge of this protection detail. Maybe someone inside this place is playing both sides. You got it. How much longer is this gonna take? It'll be done when it's done. Done when it's done? What kind of answer is that? Hey, I got a 220 connection here at 16 amps. So? So you know what that kind of juice will do to you if the wires get crossed? Uh, no. Well, here. Touch right here and find out. Uh, no thanks. Yeah, good thinking. Now get lost. It'll be done when it's done. Damn, look at this cut. Check it out. Looks like he also filed plans for construction in the next building over. The next building? I'm no architect, but if I'm reading these plans right, both buildings are connected across a rooftop. I'll leave the relevant data on your offset. It should help you navigate. Thanks. Fisher, Sir Casey's cameras project an infrared beam so they can see in the dark. If it's an infrared beam, I can see it in my night vision. Exactly. And listen. It would help us keep tabs on Turkey if we could use these cameras against him. Gotcha. I'll try and run some tabs. 
Good work, Spencer. That's one camera tap. There should be five more. I'll keep my eyes open. It's all a bit suspicious. Stupid damn thing is broken. Hey, I don't recognize you. How long have you been with this place? Three months. I just got transferred up from Peru. I was on the, uh, <clears throat> VIP detail down there. Ah, so you're already, uh, in the loop. Yeah, me and, uh, well, you know. We go way back. Well, stick with us. We know how to get things done. I know. Like I say, we go way back. Right. Charge of the protection detail on Morgan Holt and Peru as well. Yeah, Mylon handles all displaced VIP protection contracts. Well, he's not very good at it, is he? Please don't throw me off this roof. Wouldn't dream of it. I'm scared of heights. Please. I don't want to die. Mylon manage. Echelon's got nothing. We need to inform Shepard. No can do, Sam. We can't talk to my boss for private interests. Fine. If I find Nedich, it'll be less of a problem. Admirable of you to protect your friend, but... You said he doesn't exist. I'm just correcting a bureaucratic error.
What the? All clear. Gotcha. Who? Dvorak. Where is he? According to this, he's in the building next door. You can get there across the rooftop through the magnetically locked doors. How do I get through the doors? They're not magnetically locked anymore. Thanks for the help. this place. Before Bosnia. Before Bosnia? Good lord. I knew he had connections, but... Uh... Yep. Know him a long time. He treats us good, we do what he says. Yes. Yes, well, he sure treats us well. Now you know too. He works well. That's what he says. Yes, well, certainly worth my while now, isn't it? More than worth your while. He'll keep you alive. on the cameras, Sam. We'll have guys watching Zerkazy 24-7. Always happy to keep the donut dip. Damn it! What's 
What's wrong with this? What was that? No one here. No signs of disturbance. Nice place you got here. Decorate it yourself. Uh, uh, who, who are you? The landlord. Rent's overdue. Uh, what do you want? Where can I find Dvorak? I, I don't know any Dvorak. If you mean Zerkezi, uh, he's gone. <laughs> I've been tortured before. I'll cooperate. Uh, I'll do whatever you say. You must be Dvorak. Yeah, um, uh, well, Dvorak, huh? I had thought this area was, well, uh, off limits. You're not Dvorak. Well, um, since we're being blunt, well, no. Then who are you? Such a rush you're in. Hmm, fancy some tea, do you? Lambert, something weird is happening. I'll say. What do I do? The old man seems harmless. Indulge him. See if he knows anything. Reminds me of poor old Jiggers. <laughs> oh, Jiggers. We hardly know ye. Who are you? What are you doing here? Oh, well, one might ask you the same. I'm looking for a man named Dvorak. Ah, Dvorak, yes! <laughs> well, you're not going to find one. <laughs> this way! Ah, <laughs> yes, here we are then. This is Dvorak. Jesus. I think I just figured out why you couldn't hack in here, Grim. Uh, yeah, no kidding. What the hell do I do now? Uh, hold on while I find a slide rule. See what the old man knows, Fisher. Okay. If this is Dvorak, who are you? Um, I am Dvorak's keeper. Thank you most kindly for asking. And what is this, this Dvorak? Dvorak is, 
Well, you likely wouldn't understand. I'm sure you're right. But let's have it for the record anyway. Dvorak is a mechanical representation of a self-referential axiom of number theory. Dvorak encodes its own logical structure within its own executable cycle and recursively derives a more accurate representation of itself with each successive execution. Right. Grim, did you get that? My god, it's an infinite state machine. Fine. What do I do? If Sir Casey is using this... Grim. Sorry, uh, Sam, we're gonna need a copy of Dvorak's output so we can work out the algorithm it's built on. How do I get its output? It runs on punch cards. Punch cards? You'll need to restart the sequence and initialize each tower in the right order, and then retrieve the output stack. How do I know the right sequence? You'll need to hit the switches in order as the tubes start to heat up. Ask the old man for help. I need your help. Indeed. What can I help you with, my good fellow? I need you to help me initialize the Vorak so I can retrieve an output stack. Ah, Dvorak. Well, that is certainly something I can help with. <laughs> Why don't you restart it? I'll initialize the towers on this side, <laughs> and you can do the other side. Got the stack. Good work, Fisher. Time to make yourself scarce. Get to your primary extraction point. On my way. Oh, if you see Jiggers, tell him I miss him. Oh, if you see... Eventually, Dvorak will derive the answer. But eventually... It's a very long time. Fisher, what the hell are you doing? Sorry. I thought he was the enemy. From now on, check your targets. Yes, sir. Who's there?
coming to you from our New York City broadcast center. We have Patrick Dunn of Watershed Electric on the line. Mr. Dunn, what do we know at this moment? All we know so far is that this was not an accident. If it's not, not an accident, then it the must be intentional. Hand. Both us and the Japanese have been hit by this thing. I think it's pretty obvious who's responsible. Here's a Tomo. It appears we have something in common, Admiral. Our analysis of the information of footprint shows that the pressures which collapsed our power grids appear in many ways similar to those that collapsed our markets. I am certain the Koreans and the Chinese are involved. Let's not jump the gun here, Admiral. We've had our microscope on a man named Zerkezi. He had access to weaponized IW Algos following that business in Georgia. He was also a major DOE consultant after the blackouts here in 2003. Yes, we are aware of this connection. Has Zerkezi been found? Not yet, but it won't take long. I'll keep you posted. Fisher, I'm afraid we might be facing an orchestrated attempt to push the world into a major crisis. Zerkezi might know more about information warfare than anyone on Earth. And the fact that this place is combat ready, essentially stateless and better equipped than most governments, we need to find out fast whether this is a coincidence or whether someone inside this place is making a major move. That said, State Department has several very significant contracts with this place. This thing is extremely political. I hate to do this to you, but keep it clean. Recon only, no fatalities. This place's offices are on the top three floors of the Hans Center Tower in downtown Manhattan. Recent financials indicate that they have invested heavily in their local infrastructure in order to maintain full operational capacity following even a major terrorist incident. Satellite confirms Grimm's data. This place is up and running at near to full capacity. It looks like they might be holding a meeting with members of New York City Council, possibly making a bid for protection or policing services to supplement the National Guard. They're prepared and opportunistic, that's for sure. But I wouldn't expect anything different. My money says they're playing fair, but if the boss wants to take a closer look, then that's what we'll do. Fisher, we need to find out if Displace and Zerkezi are working together. But until we know, you want me to keep them quiet. Don't kill anyone or I'll abort the mission. The Pentagon has contracts with Displace all around the world. The president will have puppies if he finds out we're doing this. It's getting stale inside. What the hell do I care what Marco says? I don't even know him. Don't tell him you said that. Huh? Go ahead. Boy, are you in trouble. Whatever. You're certainly entitled to request protection at that level from the National Guard, I agree. But let's face it, the National Guard is a massive, cumbersome organization. Sure, that's what we need, a presence. On the contrary, the people want protection, they need protection, but they don't want to see protection. 
It frightens them. Having the National Guard on every corner will keep the peace, but at what cost? They'll get over it, Julian. In the end, the thing they'll remember is that the National Guard is cheap. I'm dealing with taxpayers here. The last thing I need is a... Good work, Sam. Now you'll be able to access the central server on the first floor. This wireless stuff makes life a lot easier. Yep. Welcome to the Wi-Fi era. Remember, you're saying that to a guy from the era of Hi-Fi. Hi-Fi? As in, like, high in fiber? <sighs> Don't put me in adult undergarments yet, kid. Sam, each of Displace's different divisions seem to have their own server farm. I put a program on your OPSAT that will build a little back door into their networks. You want me to upload that to each division server? I would appreciate it. Since you asked so nice. Good work, Sam. That's the first of their servers. If you can upload that to each of the other ones, I'll be able to snoop around as much as I please. I'll see what I can do. Fresh ground or dried? What? The coffee machine. Ground or dried? Uh, I'm not sure. Then you better tell me something useful and fast. Uh, uh, you might need the door code out of here. It's 8136. That'll do. Would, do you like cream and sugar with that? Uh, I'm afraid of pain. I'm afraid of pain. I'm afraid of... Uncle! Uncle! We've got all the news right here. Don't go away. Now, almost 48 hours into the blackout, state governments in New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Massachusetts, and Pennsylvania have authorized deployment of the National Guard to help keep the peace as tensions and hysteria rises. The wait is over. Pick up your copy today of Inoculation.
So, what did you want to show me? In the lobby of the Empire State Building, there are four brass rondelles, Art Deco pieces. Each rondelle represents one of the four disciplines of skyscraper construction. What, like engineering, financing, <sighs> real estate? Machines, concrete, decoration, elevators. Elevators like this one here. Huh. Okay, Julian, what's your point? My point is that every single day, five million New York executives ride elevators. Elevators that they can't do their jobs without. So... Well, you're worried about the cost, huh? You're worried about what the taxpayer will think. But it's a mistake to think that those two things are fundamentally tied together. Stairs are cheaper than elevators, Tom. Why don't we have stairs as the fourth discipline of skyscraper construction? No one is gonna take the... Hey! NASA just reported the astronauts on the ISS got their life support back online. That's all they're gonna make. Well, probably not. But at least they have time to attempt a rescue. The shuttle? Yeah. NASA is working to repair the rocket assembly. They think they might be able to launch in time. What about the Chinese rescue? I guess we don't need them anymore. <laughs> well, here's hoping nothing else goes wrong. guy was really annoying. The guy isn't there anymore. He's out of town. What, so you're just watching his stuff? <laughs> yeah, emptying his liquor cabinet and playing video games. He's got the new Prince of Persia. Yeah? I heard it's awesome. Gonna be game of the year, man. Can't wait to play it. This looks like...
here. Looks like I'm being overcautious. I totally forgot. Probably a pseudonym. I'll see if I can find out who he really is. In any case, we need to get access to his computer. His office should be on the upper floor somewhere. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but... I see it. Power's coming back on. I see it, Grim. You got company. You might want to... I see it. Check the server and make sure nothing got fried when the power came back on. Okay. Give a shout if you need anything. Will do. open. last month, wandered out of the bar looking for a fight. They found him the next morning, covered in blood. What? Yeah. Stan thinks he killed someone. Read a newspaper article the next day. Istanbul police found some guy cut to ribbons just a couple of blocks from the bar they were at. Whoa. I think we should try and get on his PC in the executive offices, see if we can find anything. The code to the area is 2346, but I don't know the code for his actual office. All right. Well, if I find out what it is, we'll go together. All right. Sorry to bring you in here so late. We need to put some extra men on the Zerkazy detail. Your name came up. Zerkazy? 
The wacko in the penthouse uptown? Well, it's perhaps best not to refer to our client as the wacko, but yes, him. Or rather, his penthouse. Milos Nowak is, uh... Who? Milon. Milon Nedic. Crazy Slavic names. I always get them confused. Anyway, Zerkezi is out of town, so there won't be a VIP, just the property. Okay. Sounds like a breeze. Well, it hasn't gone perfectly smooth so far. You'll get the full VIP rate, and you'll be on duty as though there is a package on site. Okay, got it. Good. You reported 1300 tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. Good grab, Fisher. Milon Nedic's real name? Jesus. Milos Nowak. Milos Nowak, who is he? The barber of Bosnia. Suspected war criminal from the Bosnian conflict. Allegedly scalped some of his prisoners. Wanted in The Hague? Yeah. Bet you dollars the dinars that he doesn't make it to trial. That's okay. I think my money's safer on the Nike. Silk. Andretti? Who's Andretti? Andretti? The famous designer. Men's suits, tuxedos. I'm not a tuxedo kind of guy. But but you are some kind of spy. Yeah, I'm the real kind, not the tuxedo kind. I'm the kind of spy who gets blood all over your Andretti unless you give me information. Oh God, please don't ruin my suit. How about a door code? CEO's office, 2609. My wife will kill me if I ruin this suit. You're wrinkling the fabric, please. Hokkaido, isn't that basically the Alaska of Japan? Yeah, looks like Mylon Nedich has secretly relocated Zerkezi there. Interesting. Now we definitely need to talk to Shetland. Will its State Department handle that mess? You're going to Hokkaido. We're sending a helicopter to evac you from the roof.
As happy as we are to be back online here in New York, our thoughts turn to our loved ones who are defending us on this beautiful 4th of July. We go now live to the Yellow Sea where sailors aboard the USS Clarence E. Walsh are celebrating. We have Seaman Anthony Palmiera from Brooklyn, New York. Tell us, Seaman Palmiera, how you'll be celebrating Independence Day. Well, the captain's going to have a, a big barbecue on deck. And tonight we'll have our own fireworks. <laughs> Call you back. It's the Koreans, Mr. President. I recommend that we declare war immediately. If it was Korea, there would be 200,000 men coming over the DMZ right now. Maybe it was an accident. Maybe uh, an exercise. A, a test launch gone wrong. That's impossible. The Koreans can't even detect the wall. Never mind track it on radar and sink it with a 30-year-old Chinese anti-ship missile. I have reason to believe the ship was crippled with an information warfare attack. Not a chance. The Walsh's systems are... Unhackable? The Walsh's EW suite is built on kernels first identified by two of the world's leading computational theorists. One of them was found dead in Peru last week. I'm about to pick up the other one. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm not sure what we've just witnessed here, but I'm afraid something terrible is occurred. Amazing what they show on TV these days, huh, Sam? World's gone crazy. I guess you're in the right business then, Doug. What are you doing here? I'm looking for a guy named Mylon Nedich. Heard he works for you. Lots of people work for me. Haven't you heard? First security company to make the Fortune 500. If you're looking for a job... I'm not. Is that so? keep doing what you're doing, you'll just end up another unknown soldier. I'm not in it for the fame. Your buddy Nedich is dirty. Cut him loose. Unlike other employers, I don't cut people loose. If you got evidence against one of my guys, I'll help you bring him in. But I'm not going to send a man up the river because you say so. Fair enough. Just stay out of my way. Thanks for the advice. In case you change your mind. Fisher, if I can't throw the Joint Chiefs a bone, we'll be at war in the next 24. I need you to bring in Zerkezi for questioning. Mylon Nedich has moved him to Hokkaido for protection. I have no idea if Shetland is aware or involved, but I'd like to find out. However, it turns out, don't let your personal concerns get in the way. In my opinion, there are too many coincidences here. Zerkezi is the only living person who could have orchestrated the sinking of the Walsh. Even if the Koreans did launch the missile, it would almost certainly have required Zerkezi's help to actually hit the ship. And this business with displays. I know you don't want to hear it, but I think Shetland's dirty. The kidnapping of Morgan Holt, the protection of Zerkezi, relocating him after the blackout, it stinks. Looks like displays ratted out the entire retreat. It's low-tech and quiet. Don't expect servers and security. Expect aware guards in tune with the environment. You're going to need to rely on more traditional methods, up close and personal. Japanese ISDF conducts low-level monitoring of the activities of anyone employed by a PMC for as long as they are in the country. We discovered yesterday that this place has rented this retreat, and a number of our agents printed microphones in the location. Unfortunately, we were not adequately prepared for the increased importance of the location. The microphones are detectable using standard tools. Needless to say, it would be best if this place did not find them. Fisher, remember, I need you to bring in Zerkezi alive. What about Nedich? Nedich is another story. Isolate, simplify, complete. We're on the same page? Affirmative.
talk, but talk quietly. I'll tell you anything. I'm the biggest coward you've ever met. That's quite a claim. I've already wet myself. Well, then you've made the top ten. Where's the Casey? Somewhere at the far end. In the tea house, maybe. All right. I think it's time for you to take a nap, then. I'm such a coward. You should kill me anyway. I don't deserve to live. You are pretty spineless, actually. I'm so ashamed. I don't deserve to live. I don't deserve to live. I can't face myself any longer. Someone's blown this candle out. driving me crazy. Sounds like I'm walking on a family of parakeets. Nightingales. It's called a nightingale floor. Protection against ninjas. Ninjas? There's no such thing as ninjas. Oh, yeah? Back in 2004, that thing in Georgia, I had a contract to help secure this oil rig. We got attacked by a ninja. You're crazy. Tell you what, you don't believe me? Why don't we trade places and I'll patrol where the anti-ninja flooring is? Fine, I'll go guard your post. Deal. <laughs> Watch out for ninjas, sucker. They're listening. Bad news. Ah, uh, I know it. I know there were ninjas here. What? Yeah, you must be a ninja. How else could you sneak up and grab me like that? Listen, I don't know what... Wow, I can't believe it. A real, live ninja. Listen, I'm gonna kill you if... Wow, killed by a ninja. Cool. If you have to kill me, do it with your blowpipe. If you have to kill me, do it. If you have to kill me, do it with your blowpipe. If you have to kill me, do you have any Tatsubishi? anymore? 
That's the first microphone, Sam. Five more to go. I'm on it. Better keep my guard up. on to take care of the retreat. Civilians? That's right. Don't let any of them get killed. I won't. It's dangerous back here in the dark, alone. Oh, oh God! Don't hurt me! Tell me something useful, and I won't break your arms. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm new with the company. Well, I hope they have a good health plan, then. Uh, okay. No, wait. Uh, supplies. I heard someone say there were medical supplies in the kitchen. Kitchen, huh? Thanks. Uh, I'm new to the company. Uh, they don't tell me squat. Uh, I'm new to the company. I'm new to the company. They don't tell me squat. I'm new to the... Medical supplies. Check the kitchen. You find any bugs? Yeah, they're everywhere. Can't get rid of them. It's like a damn insectarium here. I mean microphones, stupid. Oh, well, I looked a bit, but I didn't find any. A bit? What does that mean? Where did you look? Um, like, uh, on the table and stuff. You looked on the table for microphones? Yeah. Gee, did you find any? Uh, no. Ah, never mind. I'll look for them myself. Okay. Well, let me know if you need any help.
Hey, Wendell, have you seen Mylon? Mylon? Yeah, he just went through here with some of the guys. I think they're in a meeting. Why? I just heard that Carl was looking for him. Carl? I thought he was looking for microphones. He is, I guess. But you know Carl. Yeah, good point. There was something there just a moment ago. So we can reschedule this to there. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. Uh, well, I'm not Got sure it. we can do it then. Yeah, but if he says... That's true. South Africa. Yeah. Okay. No, no, that's fine. An agreement we can live with. I think we can commit to that. That'll be fine. All right, listen up. That was Doug. He's on his way, and he's not happy. What do you mean? He's on his way here? Our offices got turned over in New York, and he's worried about a leak. He's coming up here to... Oh, I am sorry. Good one. They're only yen. Not worth anything since the market crash. Not even worth the effort to pick him up. The penny saved. The offices got hit. By who? The feds? Who cares about the offices? What's this tie-up loose ends thing? Not exactly sure. But this thing with the ship, maybe someone's onto us. But what if... Look, never mind all that. The boss is on his way, and things are heating up. We knew that would happen, so just stick to the plan, get this place tightened up, and make sure that this little visit goes off without a hitch. Get moving! place is involved. I won't talk. You're gonna make me cut your throat and look for the words inside your neck? Oh, God! Please, let me go. You're not leaving here alive, Nenich. But if you tell me what I want to know, I can make the end a little easier for you. The blockout. We, we needed to keep Zerkezi safe after the blockout. And what about the Walsh? <clears throat> I don't know anything about the Walsh. You'll have to ask Shetland. Shetland? Yeah. She needed more data from Zerkezi after the blackouts. But we have everything we... Shetland knows what you're up to. Yeah, yeah. He's the boss. He gave the order to bring Zerkezi here. Where is he now? She's on his way here now by helicopter. Do it! Or are you a coward? Finish it, or let me go. That's Nenich out of the picture. We have a complication. There's a helicopter inbound. Shetland is aboard. Doug, why is he coming here? Either he was coming to see what Nenich is up to, or our assumptions are wrong. You still think Shetland's crooked? I still don't know, and that's what bothers me. Find out what Shetland and Zerkezi are meeting about. Thank you. 
everything's ruined! Tell me everything you know and you won't die. Ow! Okay, what do you want to know? I don't want to limit your options, just spill it. Uh, Nedich! Uh, he's protecting this guy, Sir Casey. Some kind of computer genius. I know that already. Shetland! Shetland is on his way here. Why? Uh, 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 I'm not sure. Nedich and Shetland, it's between them. Are Shetland and Nedich in this together? Or is Nedich acting alone? I, I don't know! Nedich is nuts! Who knows what he's capable of? Dr. Nedich, if you want to know more. Dr. Nedich! Be careful. Nedich is crazy. Dangerous. Something's not right. That's half of Otomo's microphone, Sam. Yeah, I'll keep my eyes peeled for the rest. of the North American tree slug, in the absence of his natural predators, is truly terrifying to behold. Yeah. Many an entomologist, ignorant of the world.
Last microphone, Fisher. Otomo will be happy. Otomo doesn't seem like the happy type. Ah, it's just the old samurai Zan Shin. He's really nice in person. Hmm. I've heard people say the same thing about Lambert. What does that mean? Lambert's nice. How many of his ex-wives have you spoken to? Satellite imaging shows you're nearing some kind of tea house. Zerkazy's inside? That's our best guess. Gather as much info as you can before making your move. We might only get one shot at this. Yes, uh... Douglas? What? The Koreans, they... They couldn't have. Douglas, I need to know the truth. The truth. <laughs> Did Oppenheimer know the truth? What about Roosevelt? Hey, truth is what we need it to be. And the truth is, we did the right thing. What do you mean? Proof of concept worked. It was ugly, sure, but it's over now. You mean, you mean there will be peace? Well, peace isn't something that just happens, eh? It has to be enforced, just like in the old days. You know, the sheriff wears a shield, sure, but he also wears a gun. Gun? That's right. Oh my god. And we can't have that gun falling into the wrong hands, can we now, Abe? What? What are you... No! My god, Fisher! Don't let Shetland escape! Is he a target? He's the target! <laughs> Primary objectives, Fisher. We can extract you at any time. All right. Today, Ambassador Long Dan announced Chinese support for the North Korean claim that they did not intentionally launch the missile that sank the wall. We are monitoring these developments while continuing to seek a peaceful resolution. Make no mistake, 
the Chinese People's Republic will employ all means at our disposal to protect our interests in the Asian subcontinent. Our intelligence estimates that the current number of Korean troops massed at the border runs as high as 200,000 men. Monty? Montgomery Lewis, The Times. Do we know what the possible North Korean strategy will be if diplomatic efforts fail? We've known for decades that the NKA would move to capture Seoul as quickly as possible, regardless of the cost. That is how our defenses are structured. But with the capital less than 40 miles from the border, and well within artillery range of the big guns, it is clear that war would be catastrophic in terms of damage done and lives lost. Fisher, I know you think the shortest distance to solving this problem is to go after Shetland might be right. Unfortunately, the diplomatic situation surrounding the Walsh incident is not softening. We are less than 24 hours from open war on the Korean Peninsula. We've located the battery that launched the missile against the Walsh. If there is any credence to the North Korean claim that the launch was unintentional, we need to prove it. And fast. I've been reverse engineering the data you recovered from Zerkezi's computer in New York. Zerkezi's algorithm is an advanced extrapolation of the mass kernels made infinitely more complex by recursion through Dvorak. I think that if you can access the BIOS memory of the missile launchers at the battery, I should be able to ID a fingerprint that the algorithm would have left on the system. You'll be doing a halo insertion into a forest two clicks east of the battery. You'll enter the battery's secure perimeter and infiltrate via the main air shaft. The battery itself has been around since World War II, but intelligence and satellite imaging show it's been retrofitted several times since then. We have some limited mapping data. We don't know what you'll find. Since the destruction of the Walsh, the USS Ronald Reagan has assumed C&C duties for the battle group in the Yellow Sea. Our fleet is on red alert. In case of war, we are prepared to conduct precision sorties against high-value targets aimed at reducing North Korean coastal defenses for insertion behind their advancing front. If intelligence indicates that the Koreans are picking a fight, then it's a fight they'll get. Anyone in that battery, when the whistle blows, better find himself a tin hat and a Bible. Japanese ISDF has been instrumental in determining that the missile that sank the wars was indeed fired from this battery. You have the complete support of all branches of the Japanese self-defense force in order to determine the rationale for this insane move by the Korean aggressors. We do not have the capability to strike the facility directly, but ISDF will use any means at our disposal to interfere with their capabilities in the event that our great American allies are forced to declare war. Fisher, it's starting to look like war is unavoidable. JCOS is asking all sources for current division level intelligence. So, besides stopping World War III, is there anything else I can do for this evening? The base commander should have up-to-date intel about NKA divisional strength down the Kaesong Moonsan approach. I'll try to schedule an appointment with the secretary. It's in the delivery. But I only see Fisher, seven. since everyone is asking everyone for intel. I'd love to have a few chips at the big table. What can I get you, Will? Looks like this battery has repair and maintenance capability for mechanized warfare support. Any shipping or repair logs you can recover would be a big help. I'll find what I can. Look, I will double check. But if you screw this up, I'm going to have to report you. Good work, Fisher. 
Looks like they track shipping and repair through four separate departments. Gotta love military bureaucracy. See if you can get the logs from the other three. Now serving number 67. Well, that's how we're done. Let the control room take over. Who's in the control room? How should I know? So what? Just going to leave the missile hanging there? Orders. Deliver cargo to loading bay at facility 27-290. Nothing in there about working a bunch of cranes that we're not trained on. Fair enough. Down there.
Nothing here. Never hurts to check. Nothing here. Never hurts to check. They're just going to throw protocol to the wind and leave the warhead case unlocked. Even detonating them won't destroy the battery. No, but it will make an awful big mess. Inspection of the West Launcher. And what is your report, Captain? We did every test we could, sir. And? And, well, there was no malfunction, sir. No malfunction? <laughs> Curious. There is an $80 million warship on the bottom of the sea, sunk by a missile that left this battery. The world is less than 12 hours from a war that will kill millions of people. And you're telling me that there was no malfunction. We... we checked everything, sir. I assure you. Well, Captain, the only two people in this building who could authorize that launch without approval are you and I. I know I did not do it, so if it wasn't a malfunction... I want you to run every test again. Then run whatever test the captain forgot until you find out what the hell happened with my missile! Sir! Yes, sir! Get out of my sight! That sealed him. The missile came from here. They can launch intentionally. So that's a good thing. We can avoid a war. The problem is that someone launched the missile intentionally. Isn't that someone Doug Shetland uses a case of algorithms? That seems likely, but I still need to see if there's a Dvorak fingerprint in the bios. I'm sure this is not supposed to be open.
where is that voice coming from? Don't bother with the who are you crap. We're too old for children's games. Oh, uh, why? What do you want, American? This battery is on the logistics strain down Kaisong Munsan. What's the divisional strength? Why should I tell you? You'll kill me anyway. It's a game of position, Colonel, and you've already lost. Do you need to condemn 50,000 men as well? They'll be your men, American, not mine. They're not my men, Colonel, and they're not yours either. They're just men, husbands, fathers, sons. Same as you and I. Do they need to die for our mistakes? We have 8 to 1 force ratios against your 2nd Infantry Division in armor, artillery, and infantry down the length of the approach. 8 to 1? You cannot win. Kaysan Mudsan will be the breach point, and Seoul will fall inside of 72 hours. Old soldiers never die. Old soldiers. Old soldiers never die. Old soldiers fit to serve, fit to rest. Good Lord, Fisher. Those numbers triple our best estimates. Damn. I know a lot of guys in 2ID, Lambert. They're good men, but I hope their life insurance policies are up to date. Good work, Sam. One more shipping lock to go, and we'll have an accurate picture of their mechanized capabilities in the region. I'll find it. Tap into the BIOS, you'll need to open the casing. 
I didn't bring my crowbar. Whatever. Crowbars are for geeky video game characters. Put the launcher into its maintenance position. There should be a switch in the control room directly beneath you. Good job, Sam. From the parts and transport requests, it looks like this facility is significantly more important than our latest estimates. Well, you know me. I was where the action is. All right. That opened the casing. You can access the motherboard on the launcher itself and recover any routing data from the BIOS. Good work, Sam. I'm scanning the BIOS now. Yeah, that's a Dvorak fingerprint. Where did it come from? Hokkaido? The displaced offices? Seoul. What? As in South Korea? Are you telling me the U.S. just got drawn into a war protecting the people that sank the Walsh? I can't trace it back farther than Seoul. Well, what do I do? Sweet Jesus, Fisher. The NKA just committed. They're coming across the DMZ. We're at war. Why? We just found proof they didn't launch the missile. Good lord, speaking of missile launches, that battery just lit up like a smoker getting off an airplane. They're not targeting our ships, are they? Active radar is up. It looks like a launch is imminent. Fisher, you need to abort that missile. You got it, boss. I'm uploading the arming sequence code for Grim. Lambert, if worse comes to worst, and I'm still here. You don't even need to say it, Sam.
warhead won't arm until it's a few hundred meters from its target. If I can dig up the abort codes. Good thinking. Check launch control directly under the platform. I'm on my way. Make it fast, Fisher. Flight time on that missile is three minutes. Confirmed. Engagement interface is online. Target tracking active. Check. Flight pad and targeting computer are showing all green. Check. Fire circuit shows green. Check. Code lock circuit shows green. Check. Primary target tracking readback start. Ready for readback. Primary target carrier. Bearing 218. Range 120 kilometers. Your readback is correct. Confirm primary target acquired. Ready to fire. Stand by for fire order. Standing by to fire. Stand by to designate next target. Standing by to designate next target. Track target. Primary. Destroyer. Bearing 218. Good work, Sam. Those are the abort codes. I still need to bypass the override circuit from the missile control room. Hurry. The missile is closing on the USS Ronald Reagan at top speed. Uh, hold on. Did you just tell me I need to win one for the Gipper? Uh, dude, what does that even mean? Uh, never mind. You're right, Grim. I am old. Good job, Sam. Missile aborted. That's it? It's dust? No, but the warhead can't arm. Even if it gets past the Reagan's phalanx, it'll hit the hull and crumple like a beer can. Crumpling beer cans? That's what sailors are best at, I guess. Very funny. You need to make your way to extraction. Right. I'm on my way. Initial estimates place the combined casualty count for the first 24 hours at, oh my god, 6,000? Is this a typo? 90% or more of those are enemy casualties. Estimates put our losses at less than 1,000 men. Less than 1,000? You say that like it's a good thing. Sir, it's paranoia. Our saber rattling has their leadership in a panic. It's a preemptive strike. Our own intelligence indicates that they didn't launch that missile intentionally. And until we can prove it, Seoul is on the block. What are our military options for holding the city? No reasonable strategic assessment has ever claimed it was possible without nuclear capability. And if that's the way it has to be... 38 hours ago, the NKA committed to open war on the Korean Peninsula. We've known for 50 years that their objective would be to capture Seoul within 72 hours. It appears they have a real shot at it. South Korean and U.S. forces are using orchestrated retrogrades to channel individual NKA divisions along discrete corridors. Six hours ago, the first of those divisions reached Seoul and is seeking to capture critical infrastructure. High on their list is a telecommunications switching station north of the city. Unfortunately, the IW attack that sank the Walsh came through this switching station. If the NKA gets their hands on that information, they'll be able to justify their invasion possibly force the world to allow them to hold the country. We need to get that information before they do.
The information warfare attacks that launched the missile that sank the Walsh came through Seoul. I wasn't able to trace them back any further than the switching station, and I don't even know for sure that they didn't originate there. It's entirely possible that South Korea has manipulated us into war by forcing the North to attack the U.S. I would just try and hack my way in, but this is a fat, secure data pipe, and damage caused by the fighting has already isolated most of the entry ports. You need to get in there and recover the data manually, then broadcast it out point to point so we can take a closer look. CIA maintains several safe houses in Seoul to facilitate insertion of agents and recovery of possible defectors. Usually, they're set up to look like ordinary residences. I'm currently working out a plan to have you forward inserted into one of these safe houses before 2ID performs another major retrograde. Once you're in, our boys will retreat, and the NKA front will overrun and bypass your location, leaving you in the wake of the main force, but still in advance of the support troops. You'll have a small zone of comfort, and I would strongly advise you not to stray from your AO. You don't want to encounter a battalion-sized force. The USS Ronald Reagan is ready to launch an EA-6B Prowler rigged with a point-to-point -point laser receiver rig. Your man will be given a special transmitter that will track the plane and transmit the data. This comm setup is 100% secure. Nothing is broadcast, so nothing can be intercepted. Never mind decrypted. Once your man is in position, we'll send in the plane and get the data. But this is still a highly risky operation. Whatever you're promising me better be worth it. These planes are worth $60 million, you know. Welcome to the three-block war, Fisher. The main advance has bypassed your position. It expects sporadic fighting among units separated from the main force. Whose side am I on here? Your own. You're not a legal combatant. Anyone who sees you will attack on sight, friend or foe. on the ground not far from your position. Another splinter cell? Splinter cells in training. They're on a black bag up there. The target was just relocated by NKA special forces. So I need to bring in the target. No. You need to interrogate one of those special forces to find out where they took you. Okay. Don't kill them before you talk to them or I'll pull you out. I know where we are. I was looking at the map while you were driving. Well, you were not looking very closely, were you? Look! Fine! You think you know where we are? You navigate. I'm going to take a lead. Don't get lost. Shove it. Stay quiet, you might live. What? Oh. Shut up. Lambert, I've got one. Good job, Fisher. I'm gonna patch you through direct. Hold on. Stay calm. So just take a sec. Uh, okay. All right, Fisher. Go ahead. I've got someone who wants to talk to you. Roger. Ask him where they took John. Where did you take John? I... I don't know what you're talking about. He's not answering. Should I kill him? Negative, negative. All right. They say I should kill you, so... Wait! Okay! John! We moved him to a cyber cafe just off the fish market by the river. Is that what you needed to know, guys? Uh, not permanent. Thanks a lot, sir. We owe you one. Welcome to the team. No! What are you going to do? I don't know anything else. You want to tell me what's going on, Lambert? Sorry, Fisher. You're getting too old for this kind of work. Stop listening to me. If you go by her definition of old, You'd need to issue diapers with every set of goggles. If I listen to you much longer, we'll be adult undergarments. 
That was cool. service for the national data trunk. Every bit of data that moves through here gets tagged in transit. It's smaller than I thought. And getting smaller every year. Listen, you need to recover the main drive so I can see if the attack that launched the missile came from somewhere else first. It's good. 
Now get that drive up to the roof and we'll transmit it to the EA-6B. You... Why can't you just read it from here? It'll take too long to guarantee a secure link. And if the DPRK intercepts it... Oh, yeah. Then this mission is a waste of time. Once I transmit the data, I'm on to extraction. That's the plan. If we can confirm the LZ is safe, they'll extract you directly from the rooftop. And if it's not safe? Lambert, I'm in position. Iron Bear, this is your dog. Begin transmission now. Have a problem. Yes, sir. The plane went down before they could purge the data. We need to get some records to make sure the North Koreans don't recover it. NK regulars are setting up portable radar reconnaissance receivers. See if you can take them all out. Good job, Sam. RF monitoring indicates at least four more P3Rs active in your AO.
bombs don't want to kill you. It's purely statistical. There is nothing in the world more dangerous than an infantry man with a rifle. I'd rather keep my chances with the bombs. You are scaring the crap out of me. RF confirmation that there are only two P3Rs left in your area. What did? Huh? I found out what that beeping sound was. Is it? Is it a dud? I don't know. Check it. You check it. Okay. Easy. Recover. I want my mommy. We're still alive. Easy. 
Look, let's just take that patrol data into the UAV and get out of here before it does go off. Good idea. Sam, looks like the complete technical specifications on North Korean UAVs. So what, we can just switch them all off now? <laughs> no, but we can pass it up the chain and inside of a few months find ways to disable them. Well, that's not much help to me then, is it?
your lazy American demon. Us and freedom combine the life which is peaceful and eternal. United together forever. safer to extract you. Wow, you mean you're actually planning to get me out of here alive one day? The plane is too badly damaged to recover the data. You need to fall back and designate the target for an airstrike. Let me get the pilots to safety first. We don't have a lot of time, Sam. An NKA recovery team is en route. Are you ordering me to leave these guys here and call in an airstrike? I'm telling you what the objective is. I trust you to complete it. You have your orders. Fisher, if you compromise this mission for those men... Save it, Irving. You gave me my orders already.
crafty rat, this one. All right, Fisher. Good job. You should be safe from the blast here. Designate the wreckage with your EEB from the roof. Nothing. I go that way. attack came from Japan. They're our allies. Mr. President, these attacks represent the most sophisticated application of information warfare ever imagined. The missile launch came through Japan, yes, but it seems likely it was triggered by elements of a private security operation. Displace International. Displace? That's Doug Shetland's outfit. We have contracts with them. Who's Shetland? Former Marine Recon, among the very best. He was one of my top candidates for third echelon a few years ago. No love loss for the military or the United States. Rumor is that we hung him out to dry for political reasons over an incident that wasn't his fault. We can only speculate as to what his agenda is. Well, how do we defuse the situation until we know? Maybe the Chinese can help. Gotcha. <laughs> Echelon tracked down Doug Shetland in Tokyo six hours ago. He's mobile and he's wireless. And from what we've managed to decrypt, it looks like he's about to wrap up his business with whoever his Japanese contacts are. From what we've managed to pick out of the air, it looks like he and his men are about to converge on a bathhouse in the middle of the city. We need to find out who Shetland is meeting with, and do everything we can to prevent him from closing his deal. 
Clearly, the attack that crippled the Walsh and forced launch the missile from the battery went through Seoul, but it originated in Japan. Shetland has something to do with it, and my line into the displaced servers shows that he's definitely profiteering on this war. In order to shut down his operation and prevent any further escalation, we need to ID his business partners and make sure they don't leave there with any more of Zerkezi's weaponized algorithms. Fisher, the bathhouse where this meeting is going down is a semi-public place. There will be civilians in there, and probably a boatload of goons. Shetland's men seem to be popping up all around Tokyo in the last hour or so, and converging simultaneously on the location. Frances Cohen has been in Asia for the last few months, and she's found some ties between the bathhouse ownership and a Japanese criminal organization known as the Red Nishin. It's possible that they are Shetland's partners. Fisher, I just got a request from Frances Cohen. What does she need? She's been trying to get a man inside the bathhouse for a long time to keep tabs on the Red Nishin. She wants to know if you can tap the phone lines in and around the building. Francis? Of course I can. Done. Good work, Fisher. That's the first phone line. See if you can tap into the rest. Well, needs us to check all the DSLs. Make sure that we don't get any network interference on the shadow net. I don't even know what that means. Be quick about it. The stench is unbearable. No kidding. I think there must be a broken sewer main back here. Worst part is you can smell it inside, too, in the basement. What? Yeah, some kind of foundation problem. All of Tokyo is sinking, you know. Tokyo isn't sinking, idiot. The airport is sinking. Whatever. Close enough. Just a reminder, Sam. You'll have some civilians in the bathhouse. Do not, I repeat, do not kill any of them. I'll be careful. Be more than careful. Be Gandhi. Yes, sir. Central, this is Seven. I finished the basement. All clear. Yeah, okay. Seven out. Let's do this the easy way. Give me a small piece of useful intelligence, and in return, I won't kill you. That sounds more than fair. What can I tell you? How many men you have here? Oh, actually, I have no idea. Shetland organized us like a flash mob. We were scattered all around Tokyo. The call came. We all showed up with our own part of the plan. They're interesting. I was just supposed to come and secure this basement. I didn't even know there would be others here. Never mind how many. Each of us has his low-level tasking. Like, secure this basement. Low-level tasking and high-level governance means none of us even needs to know the details of an operation. suits cut wide in the shoulders. They're packing for sure. Exactly. I make them for displays, trying to keep a low profile. Makes sense. Doug knows how to stay discreet when it's necessary. Fisher, 
In order to figure out who Shetlin is meeting with, you'll need to head up into the private offices. Check upstairs, to the north of your position, and past reception. On my way. The upstairs secure? Yeah. Might be some Red Nishin guys up in the private rooms, but I didn't disturb them. How about the front? It's tight. A truck is blocking the alley, and I sent the guys unloading it for a coffee break. Which guys? Just some guys. Worker guys. What? You just said, hey, why don't you guys take a break, and they did? Well, I gave them a hundred thousand yen. Oh, okay. Well, don't forget to expense that. Yeah, no kidding. Currently, 300 is behind us. This is a very tricky Next. Got it. 
Shetland's meeting in the private bath in the back of the bathhouse in a little while. Who's he meeting? Red Nishin, from the looks of it. Cohen was right. The bathhouse owner is pretty high up in the Japanese mob. I don't know. That doesn't sound like Shetland's style. Well, unless you find something to the contrary, it looks like a solid lead to me. I'll keep sniffing around. Fisher, those two aren't displaced. They're ISDF assault troops. What is ISDF doing here? Doing? Maybe the Red Nishin has sold Shetland out to the ISDF. Eavesdrop on that meeting. Figure out what's going on before ISDF blows this up. How are we gonna stop them? I'll get on the horn with Admiral Otomo and make sure we're all on the same page. Technology and Shetland. You don't think... Should we tell Canada? No. There is no way Shetland had time. Besides, we are in a hurry. What are you guys doing here? How did you get here? I ask, you answer. We... we are here to monitor the meeting with Shetland. Who gave the orders? I am following the orders of a man named Kaneda. But he's someone's pawn. He's not even a real military. Kaneda, huh? Thanks. You're gonna take a nap now. I am not afraid to die. I am not afraid to die. I have served with honor. This is nine. Affirmative. Everything is in position and we're locked up tight.
Wouldn't mind a little dip to cool off. What? You didn't bring your bathing suit, did you? No. Well, you can't go in with all your kit. I'm not ashamed of my body. What? Man, it's a bathhouse. It's all full of... Uh... Relax. Heterosexual men have been bathing naked together since time immemorial. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No one here. You say so. And here I thought this place was a forward-thinking employer. Way to go, Sam. Cohen says there's one more phone line she'd like you to tap.
impossible to fight. But if night vision here? Night vision doesn't help in this crap. Maybe if we had thermal, guess we'd just have to rely on our ears. Yeah. Unfortunately, since Mogadishu, I don't hear so good. You were with the Rangers in Mogadishu? Uh, no, I was, uh, kind of working for General ID. But only in direct. Oh. But yet, I am. That's the last phone line, Fisher. Cohen sends her thanks. Tell her it was my pleasure. Yes, sir. I just double checked the blueprints. Turns out there's a vent that comes out from here. ISDF makes me nervous. Make sure the vent is clear of any surveillance gear. Yes, sir. Be quick about it. The meeting will start soon. I'm on it.
Lambert. ISDF is in the building. Are they making their move? It's all clear. I haven't been able to contact Otomo. I don't know what's going on. Wait a minute. Yes. This... I told you I've taken care of everything, Mr. Jesus, Lambert. ISDF isn't here to take Shetland down. They're meeting with him. They're his partners. My God. Stay there. We need to hear the details before we go to the Joint Chiefs with this. Did not bring them? We're well, not going to follow you across Tokyo. Relax, Kaneda. I'll just download them and burn you a disc. Ha! Huh. You take me for a fool. You are not stupid enough to download them over a public network. What are you up to? I said relax. You're right. I'm not that stupid. My men just finished setting up a shadow here. Completely secure wireless, discreet from the web. Now sit. You'll have your algorithms in about four minutes. Crawling! Lambert. Let it go, Fisher. We know the truth. We'll pick up the pieces after the dust settles. Kanade, I've seen it before. You're defending your honor to cover up your lies. Should I check the account, or should we start shooting and see who walks out of here? Kanida! That's the wall! No, 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 please. We can work this out. We're switching the fallback. Chopper's on its way. Good. Secure this area. No one comes through. Yes, sir. Fisher? Kill Shetland. I know. Good thinking, Fisher. Looks like Shetland is This is pointless, Sam. You won't know what to do if you catch me. Why bother chasing? My God, Fisher! Shetland has rigged the place to blow. There are bombs hidden in the furnace room. You'll have to find them all and fast. Fingers, Fisher. You're no more to them than any other weapon. Crap! Nothing!
you've made yourself the instrument of a policy you don't believe in, Sam. Walk away. thicker than water and you and I have bled a lot together. You're trading your honor for their agenda. have to end like this, Sam. No, but it does have to end. On that we agree. We've been fighting their dirty little wars our entire lives, and where do we end up? Staring at each other down the barrels of our guns. Nothing has changed, Bishop. And it won't change by degrees. We have to tear it down and start over. It's the only way. Your own little chaos theory. Throw the world into war and hope that what comes out the other side is better. It will be better, because this war will change things, Sam. Every other war has been about keeping things the same, but the status quo doesn't work anymore. America's sick, Sam. She's dying. The politicians, the bureaucrats, the whispered backroom deals, it's all life support for a sick old lady who was dead a long time ago. The only backroom deals that I've seen lately were made by you. You're a murderer and a war criminal. Those are the only names the state has for the revolutionary, Sam. You've only become a hero after the war is over. You know the truth. The world is built from the bottom up, not the other way around. Honor, courage, fidelity. We don't inherit these things from the world, Sam. We build the world from them. I know you. You believe in these things more than any government. And I know that because of it, you wouldn't shoot an old friend. You're right, Doug. I wouldn't shoot an old friend. Events today jeopardized diplomatic efforts when North Korean armor encountered a so-called self-healing minefield while attempting to withdraw from the area. North Korean forces were adequately cautioned that self-healing minefields along the DMZ should not be considered cleared obstacles. We're back at the brink of war and now we find out it is the Japanese? The Japanese are allies. I don't care if they're the Christmas elves. They sank the Walsh. We don't know that their government was involved. We know Admiral Otomo was involved, and we know where the gentleman is. We have to go in now, immediately. The fact is, we don't know how far the conspiracy goes. If Otomo's actions are sanctioned by the Japanese government, then the only solution is military. But, if he's acting alone... Your man again? He's already in position. Send him in. The State Department has lost contact with all of the U.S. officers who work at the Kokubo Social with the Japanese Self-Defense Force. It looks like the SDF have taken them prisoner, and 
and refusing to answer our calls. In typical fashion, the Japanese are circling their wagons. Either they're afraid to admit they've lost control of Otomo, or they're actually sanctioning him. If that's the case, we'll have to come clean with North Korea, which will spark a massive war in Asia. If not, we need to find out what our officers know and figure out what to do about Otomo before North Korea finds out what's going on. Sam, even if the Japanese government is not sanctioning him, Otomo still clearly has the capacity to strike. If he's still in control of the information arm of the SDF, you'll need to deal with him very carefully. There's no telling what kind of havoc he could unleash. Last contact we had with any U.S. personnel in the Kokubo Sosho was a fragment of a phone call from Major Harper, a logistics advisor to GSDF. From the sounds of the call, the room he was in was raided by Japanese troops and he was taken prisoner. It doesn't sound like anyone has been killed, and if there's any hope of maintaining peaceful relations with the Japanese, you're going to have to keep it that way. Fisher, I can't stress this enough. If one Japanese soldier dies, we risk World War III. Any fatalities and I abort the mission immediately. I understand. Locate our officers. Find out what the hell is going on there. I'll find them. Did you hear the news? The rescue was successful. You're kidding me. No, that the uh, Chinese guy, he spacewalked over, tethered his capsule to the station, then brought back the other two at the next one at a time. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, yeah. So what went wrong this time? Nothing. Nothing went wrong. We and we went off without a hitch. They recovered the capsule from the ocean about an hour ago. The astronauts are a bit dehydrated, but... Maybe, but I'm not here to rescue you. That's okay. We're not really hostages anyway. What's going on? Not too sure. SDF rounded up all the U.S. personnel and locked us up. We saw some generals and ministers being brought in earlier. Where did they go? Into the war room in the sub-level. Hmm. The doors to the lower levels are sealed. A captain was just up here looking for combat-ready volunteers to go down there. Maybe the doors are open now. Perfect timing. Somebody will come from later. Sam, we need to record everything that happens in that meeting so we can present it to the Joint Chiefs. It would speed things up if you let me remove some of the threats. Forget it, Fisher. 
Until we know who the enemy is, there is no enemy. No enemy means no kill. Deal with it. Great. Working? Are you kidding? This is a job is a joke. What are you talking about? We are here to defend. Defend the Kokubo Social? Right. right. That's like defending the CIA building or something. What do you mean? Well, it's not like anybody would be crazy enough to bust in here. This is the easiest job in the world. of it, these guards are LTL equipped. Less than least. It's the Run. There's only I one reason I can idiot. think of that they issue them to combat troops. They'll want to interrogate anyone they catch. Well, I'm not the talking of the What kind of ammo does it use? Oh, how about you let me go? Okay, and I'll show you! Was found Don't get in the floor man's ah. You may retrieve them okay. from the front security it's desk. Some kind of shock round! Electric! Interesting. You have any extra? Come on, it's not like you can shake me and make my ammo fall on the floor to pick up! You're awfully flippant for someone with a knife to his throat. Oh, all right! I think they keep some extras in the storeroom. Could you not hold the knife so close, please? Could you not hold the knife so close, please? Please don't kill me. You said yourself, I'm smart. A reminder to all enlisted personnel, log in and out with your warrant officer after hours. Starting identification. Welcome.
Your memos are to be posted on facility code boards without approval from warrant officer Yamata. Fisher, GPS shows you're nearing the war room. Intelligence says it's a tempest hardened cube. The only way you'll be able to record what's going on in there is to find some way inside. Tempest hardening might keep out electronic intruders, but I'm betting the room isn't airtight. Probably not. <laughs> Someone moving around out there? Who? I do not know who. That's why I'm worried. Nothing here. Never hurts to check. I've got some details on the building's infrastructure. This vent should come out directly over the war room. I'll try and laser mic the meeting from there. Good. We'll let you know when we have enough to make the Joint Chiefs happy. We cannot, but if he has control, political suicide. We have already taken the Americans. Hello. Sir, he is Admiral Otomo. Admiral, what is the meaning of this? You will repeal the post-war constitution. You will order the immediate remilitarization of Japan and return control of our nation to the order of the Emperor. The United States will support this act politically and militarily to release themselves from further financial and military obligations, thereby concluding our relationship in Asia. This is impossible. Even if we repeal the Constitution, the Emperor would never... The Emperor will do what the military tells him! I am not an unreasonable man. These efforts will take time. I have faith in your honor and prudence. So I give you 96 hours. 96? The people will never allow it. If in four days these demands are not met, I will initiate the launch of a North Korean ballistic missile and sacrifice a Japanese city of my choosing. Regrettably, this will kill millions, but it will steal the will of the people if your appeals cannot. For the sake of your honor and for the sake of Japan, I plead with you, do not force my hand in this matter. That's it. He caught the signal. My god! Good god, Fisher. That confirms it. Otomo has been manipulating the Japanese government the entire time. At least they're not sanctioning his actions. What's the next step? How do we stop Otomo? If we're lucky, we might not have to. What do you mean? Grim? I'm worried about that general, Fisher. He's been awfully quiet working on his laptop. Access it from here. Let's see what he's planning. Will do. God, we are doomed. We can't. 
cannot do that. Admiral again, sir. Admiral? We... Fool! You waste your time to scheme like a dog. If you are unable to act honorably, then I will force you to act. You will not be able to deny the demands of the people after North Korea destroys one of our cities. You will know which one when it is annihilated. What are our options? Seventy-two hours. How do we contact the Emperor? Good Lord! Otomo is going to launch a North Korean missile at his own country. What's the time frame? Could be hours, could be minutes. Get down there and destroy his servers. What about extraction? If you can't take out those servers before Otomo forces a launch, there won't be any reason to extract. And if I do take out the servers? We'll make that part up as we go. It's half a plan if I've ever heard one. Non-lethal mission parameter. Fifth freedom with everyone except Otomo. You're kidding me. We need to capture him alive. His profile is pretty clear. He won't lie to a war crimes tribunal in the face of the evidence. Defend his sense of honor. You need him to take responsibility so the rest of Japan is off the hook with North Korea. Exactly. If Otomo dies, we're right back at square one. Bring him in breathing. contacted NORAD and the President. They report that they've lost control of a launch facility. They can't abort and they're not sure that they can destroy the missile on time. How long? They say three minutes until it's away. I think I can reach the server in time. Hurry up!
They say 60 seconds until it's away. Then bring in Otomo alive. My pleasure. Give it up, Admiral. It's over. <laughs> you think that I will surrender to you? You think that I will allow your people to strip me of my dignity? Throw me in chains? No, I think not. My people have endured your charming oppression for more than 60 years. You say tomato. Americans. Always turning to their jokes when their hearts are full of fear. And you should be afraid. I may be defeated, but I am a man. And ideas are stronger than men. You may even prevent this war, American. But the dragon has awoken. And he will not be so easily sedated this time. what? I think someone is taking himself a bit too seriously. We can't afford to let him die, Fisher. Get in there and stabilize him. Fast. Blast your way out. We're over a hundred feet underwater. You're not pressurized, Fisher. It will be a shock, but you won't get the bends. Next time, you're going on the mission, and I'm making up the crazy plan. Admiral Otomo, former head of the Japanese Information Self-Defense Force, made a surprise confession today on the witness stand at the Hague War Crimes Trial. Otomo openly admitted conspiring to instigate war between the Koreas and the United States, claiming that the... In other news, China's ambassador to the United States, Long Dan, received the Nobel Peace Prize today for his efforts in defusing the Korean conflict. President Bowers today addressed the nation following the crisis that brought us to the brink of war. Finally, I want to take a moment to thank those unsung heroes in the intelligence community who may very well have saved our nation and the world from certain disasters. Thank you, Mr. President. The boss seems happy. How about that raise? They're cutting us back. You'll have to settle for a vacation. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs>